Everybody has different passions. And for me, running is therapeutic. I can just go out, not think about anything, or think about a lot of things. Anybody who's outside, stress in your body, the body is pumping blood. You're breathing in as much air as you possibly can. To have clean air is super important. If you don't have that, you're definitely not gonna to perform to your abilities and your health will suffer. It's a lot like detective work, solving a little mystery to find unexpected things and then trying to figure out, okay, why is that happening? And it's kind of neat to see it in the data. First stations we established were in and around the project site. Later on, we expanded it out around the marine transportation route all the way out to Triple Islands. When we went in and studied the soils and the vegetation, what we found was nitrogen and sulfur that can contribute to acid rain. We're really located down around the industrial area south and west of Kitimat and did not extend to the north. What about feedback from the public or others? Did you actually expand your study program? The public input was really helpful in choosing some of the specific sites. Some of the lakes up here specifically were due to Aboriginal input. We have a large industrial source in the Kitimat Valley already, and our project is right smack next to it. So there's a lot of commingling of effects. We also have to get information from the client on what they're proposing to do. And then we use our experience with like projects to say, okay, what, what potential concerns do we have? Past industry may not be the best example of industry moving forward. As a new industry, it's good for us to come in with those issues spoken as opposed to getting in place, building, and then find out that somebody has concerns with what you've done. With the more robust rigor that's going on right now in a review process, we'll address all of these concerns so that the design and everything else addresses these things before they're actually built. The air quality, they can't guess at what the levels will be. They have to be certain, and that's really important so that we can all breathe clean air. That's everybody's right to breathe clean air. I want to make sure that we can truthfully answer that we don't think we're going to have any noticeable change. I realize there's going to be some type of an adjustment based on our facility emissions, but is it going to be noticeable to residents? This tells us that all the highest concentrations are near the facility, and even at their highest, they are far below the criteria for acceptable air quality. I wouldn't have any concerns living there or raising my children or grandchildren there. I have family that lives there. They're paying us to tell them what we find, not what they want to hear. We're in a different age and the awareness level is much higher. And we're holding companies accountable. There's a system in place and a regulatory process that will do the right thing for the people of the communities.